then Gara comes in and gives a helping hand and somehow, some way, they done stopped the meteor. So everybody's like, oh my God, we're saved, we're saved. Oh my God, it's all good, God is good, ain't I? God is good. So then Madara's like, okay, okay, not bad, not bad. The f you gonna do about the second one though? Oh my God. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time to return to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And today we got something special. So the other day I was looking over the table and I was like, hold on, wait a damn minute. Why do only half of the people on here have a video? Matter of fact, why do some of the founders of this table not even have a damn video yet? So, you know, I was thinking to myself, all right, we got to start the new year off right. We got to fix this. Because your boy was going to make, you know, a Doflamingo video. But, <laughs> you know, somebody's not going to let that happen. Right? Yeah, I ain't f***ing with y'all. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just slide him in here and make sure nobody notice and perfect. <clears throat> but anyways, today we're going to be focusing on one of the founders of Black Air Force Energy. Like one of the niggas that came up with the damn definition of this sh Like if there was a Mount Rushmore for Black Air Force Energy, he would be up there. But ladies and gentlemen, he is one of the biggest menaces in anime history. He is none other than the vice president of the round table of Black Air Force activity. None other than Madara Uchiha. This man is the pinnacle of Black Air Force energy. From fading an entire army, catching smoke with the five kage and hitting licks like it ain't. This man is the definition of I don't give a f so y'all already know we got the evidence on deck and we will see why this man is one of the nastiest niggas to ever do this shit. So without further ado, <clears throat> exhibit A. Now, ladies and gentlemen, exhibit A consists of one of the most coldest moments in anime history. And it is personally my favorite moment in the entire Naruto series. Exhibit A consists of fading an entire army. So as we know, the fourth great shinobi war is going on right now and all the dead ops have been resurrected. And at this time, it seems that the shinobi alliance has the upper hand until one man arrived. So as the second Sushikage pulls up, they like, oh, it's just this nigga, we fine. <laughs> we just gonna jump the shit out of his ass. But nah, they like, hold on, hold on, wait a damn minute, I sent something else. And then we see this absolute menace pull up behind them. And then the Sushikage like, hey, 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 hold on my nigga, hold on, hey, yo, that's Madara, that's the ultimate op, nigga, we are so everybody's like, hold on, hold on. I thought Madara was the dude in the mask that started the whole war earlier. But then we kind of figured out, yeah, the nigga behind the mask is the uh, Simpa Six Paths Obito himself. So yeah, boy, this is the real deal right here. So Madara's on top of this rock, just staring down at everybody, looking at him like, <laughs> look at these bum ass niggas. Shit, I've been dead for a minute. I might as well get the bones loose. So Kabuto's little nasty ass snake ass is instigating right now. So he like, I right, show me some of that legendary Uchiha pal y'all been hyping up. So Madara jumps down and he's like, I right, bet. Then. So this man is staring down a entire army right in front of them. And then he starts walking and they like, oh shit. And look at her, she praying to Jesus right now. Dear God, oh Lord, most heavenly high, please help me get my ass out of this. Amen. So boy hit the chest and blasted through the asses. Giving everybody the hands and the meat meat. But that nigga so hard his ass is tooted up right now. Oz! Dude, made that nigga's head do a 360 no scope. Oh. Yeah, this is just brutal. Look at the feet, boy. Look at the technicality. Mo is picking up every single weapon that he sees and using it. Nigga's a definition of 100 overall rating. Like, you know, bro, stats are all maxed out. So why the f would you even fight the nigga? And then look at this right here, bro. Dude throws the kunai, but he grabs it, slaps the paper bomb on that. Throws the kunai Double back at kill. homeboy, kicks dude into everybody else and gets a whole to kill. Dog, look at him, this is all a running riot. Look at him play whack-a-mole with this nigga. And then he did the whole Sonic the Hedgehog home with the <laughs> Dog, this is just ridiculous at this point. Like, bro, if I saw this in the distance, I'm sorry, but nigga, I'm deserting. Put me in the brig, lock me up. Nigga, I don't care. I'm not fighting that motherfucker. So then dude with the lightsaber comes over and tries to get a hit on him. And look at him, grab him by the neck. He like, you want to dance too with your sorry ass? But then he gets blasted by this air bending move. 
exactly. And it was Tamari, who is the baddest chick in Naruto, hands down. And then she says, don't underestimate me. But this man stands up on his feet and does <laughs> that shit up. Hey, yo. Nigga like, I know this bitch should not just get all this damn dust on my drip. So then he blasts this ginormous fire wave looking like Fire Lord Ozai on Sosa's Comet. And it took all these dudes just to stop one of this man's jutsus. So then it just creates this ginormous smoke screen and then he just gets back to work. Dude just rained down like 50 million fireball jutsus. Look at the work in these niggas. So then Gara gets in the way and then he leads him over to Naruto with the ginormous Rasengan receives. And then look at the Sushikage with the nice teamwork. And then he pulls out the Susano. and he's like, get that weak shit out of my face, bro. I do not give a f if you are the protagonist. And then he just started working them all with the Susano. Oh, just look at this. This is like a bunch of level ones trying to do a raid against a level 100. Look at him just smiling like, <laughs> Bum ass niggas. So then dude pulls out two more arms and two other swords on some general grievous type shit. And my, my ah! God, bro. RIP all them niggas, bro. They dead as hell. So then they do some more teamwork. So God whips Madara out the Susano. Then Naruto chucks a Rasen Shuriken at him. But then his eyes switch and they turn into the Renegon and he absorbs it. And Naruto's like, what the f Hey, nigga, I'm the protagonist, so why the fuck is this shit happening right now? So Madara jumps up and starts talking to Kabuto again, and he figures out that, yeah, bro, you've been upgraded to the max. All stats, maxed out, 100 overall rating, niggas even got mods. So Madara's like, all right, you jobbers, I'm about to put y'all asses to rest. Warm-up's over. So then everybody just starts looking up at the sky, and they like, hey, boy, boy, ain't no way, ain't no way this shit happening right now. And look at homie right here, he like, damn, nigga, we fucked. And then you look up and this nigga that dropped a meteor on some Sephiroth types, Boyd and summoned the supernova. So everybody just got the step and niggas just skedaddling. Look at Madara, he like, shit, we all good. We just gonna regenerate. Let the little peasants run like some bitches. But then the Sushikage comes in and tries to stop the meteor. And then Gara comes in and gives a helping hand and somehow, some way, they done stopped the meteor. So everybody's like, oh my God, we're saying, we're saying, oh my God, it's all good. God is good, ain't I? God is good. So then Madara's like, okay, okay, not bad, not bad. The fuck you gonna do about the second one though? Oh my God. He just bodied an entire army, then dropped a meteor, not one, but two. This man just caught like 5,000 bodies in like 10 minutes. And look at him, he like, damn, that was a good warm up. So yeah, that was exhibit A, and it's finally time to move on to uh, exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you exhibit B running the five kage's pockets so after Madara just got through bodying an entire army the five kage pull up and they want the smoke and look at them just looking down on them looking like damn i really hope y'all make my time worth it so they get the boxing and look at them you already running this bro it's like let me dehydrate these niggas real quick let me blast this another five star just wet they ass and look at them bro they already passing out like damn it ain't even been a minute yet and y'all niggas already knocked the out. So they get up and look at them just talking shit already. This is child's play. You would descended to Hashirama, but damn, you ass. So Tsunade gets triggered, so she just blasts at his ass. And you know, look at them, bro. They actually doing something right now. They might actually make it past five minutes. Look at Grandma. She doing something right now. So Gara seals him, but Tsunade gets stabbed in the abdomen. God damn. Then Mata comes out like, damn, y'all really thought y'all was doing something. Y'all sealed the way a clone. Congratulations. But then she ends up breaking out of it and Mata was like, wait, 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 how the hell? And then she said, I'm different. Hey, yo, she basically just said, I'm built different. So now they surround him and it looks like they got the upper hand and they about to jump his ass. So as we can see, it's a five on one right now. But this man ends up making a bunch of clones and gives each person five clones to deal with. Then look at him, he like, shit, don't call this unfair, nigga. I was doing this shit earlier. Y'all thought y'all was eating for a sec, didn't you? So then after he makes the clones, this man says one of the most absurd lines you will ever hear. This nigga says, would you like these clones to you, Susano, or not? <laughs> wait, 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 wait a damn minute. You telling me that nigga, you already broken his f but you telling me the f 
fucking clothes can use this Susano too? Nigga, I'll just roll over and die at that point. So yeah, bro, they was getting bought. Ah! This, this shit is over. This is a class A jumping at this point. Look at Susano, she just croaked over. And then he grabs the right Kage and he just puts his ass to sleep. So then the old head gives him a motivational speech. And this is basically their last stand at this point. So they pulling out everything trying to seal this man. So they like, yeah, this the full power of the five Kage, nigga. Tomato's so like, I didn't. It. I'll respond with full power myself. So then he just blasts out of the whole seal. And look at him. Y'all really thought y'all ate that shit, didn't you? Y'all niggas ain't shit. So then he whips out the perfect Susano and oh my God. You could just see it in their face. They like, well, damn, we fucked. And look at him. He like, hold on, hold on. It ain't even done yet, my boy. And I mean, dog, just look at that fat ass Megazord. Nigga said, Power Rangers ain't got shit on me. It was like, I already told y'all niggas. Y'all are ass. So let me demonstrate to you why I am that nigga. So then he grand slams stuff out of that shit. Home run. You could just straight up slice the mountains in half. Then bruh says, shit, it's all good, dog. I mean, the maps only need to be redrawn a bit. <laughs> yo, 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 it's over, bro. They, they, they just gave up. Nick, nigga, this is raps. So while he's walking to him, his Susano starts to disappear because the reanimation Jutsu just got released. So all the dead ops are being sent back to Valhalla. But Mato's like, mm, that's a bummer. I really had fun with y'all. So you know what? I don't feel like dying yet. So this nigga casts the Edo Tensei on himself, and and he is still here. So he's like, all right, uh, <laughs> it was fun, but uh, I gotta go get that Naruto because I need that Nine Tails. You feel me? So I'm gonna need y'all motherfuckers to uh, drop dead. So later on, we cut to Naruto, Kakashi, and Guy fighting Obito, and then Mato keeps flying in out of nowhere. So Naruto's like, wait, if you here, hold on, what happened to everybody else? And he like, oh, you talking about the five bum ass niggas that tried to jump my ass a minute ago? But yeah, they knocked the fuck out a couple of blocks away. You better hurry up and uh, call an ambulance because uh, <laughs> them niggas about to die. My God, bro, this man just bodied the five Kage with ease. Bro didn't even break a sweat and was embarrassed that he didn't kill him the first time they saw the perfect Susano. So yeah, that's exhibit B and it is finally time to move on to our final exhibit. <clears throat> Exhibit C. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have finally arrived to the final exhibit, and it is truly quite terrifying. Exhibit C consists of assault, mass murder, hitting licks, and pushing P. So at this time, all the Hokage have been reanimated. So then Mato comes flying out of the sky, and he's like, ooh, my nigga Hachirama, what the ones with a nigga for old time's sake? But Hachirama like, damn nigga, hold on, I just got revived. I'll switch you after I run the ones with the ten tails real quick. And this man Mato are like, is this nigga serious? <laughs> Still a bitch, I see. All right then, my nigga, I'll be waiting for your bitch ass right the fuck here. So later on, Hachirama ends up bringing one of his clones to fight Mato, but Mato like a clone really my boy nah f that shit i'ma sit my ass right the f here and crisscross applesauce until you bring your real ass here so when the real hashirama shows up they finally get the boxing and this man Mata is low-key kicking the shit out of his ass right now straight up booted his ass but then hashirama sets him up to get sealed so then naruto and sai come over so they can finish off the seal but then he just starts to smile then he says naruto i gotta thank you my boy thank you for talking no juice when that dumb ass sipper releasing the tail beast so then black zetsu comes out of nowhere takes over obito's body and madara uses rene rebirth and the man is fully back to life full flesh and blood and he like hell yeah my boy it's been a minute the heart beating and the blood rushing are oh, about to fuck y'all up so then he kicks the dog shit out of naruto he says move your player to replace my head ass out the damn way with them goofy ass crop tops you be wearing and then he just chokes the life out of hashirama and takes his sage art chakra so then sasuke comes in and tries mm -hmm. to swing but mm -hmm. that boy missing mm -hmm. every damn swing and this man is dodging mm -hmm. all this wall mm -hmm. Blind. The nigga ain't got no eyes and is just reading his ass like a book. So Sasuke ends up stabbing him in the arm of Madara like, damn, my boy, you finally landed a hit. Hey, but I ain't gonna lie to you, my boy. I like them eyes you got right there. I might have to snag them hoes later on. So after this, he just dips and just lands on top of like 40-something people. Look at this one, bro. He is stepping on niggas. So then he says, all right, next up on the main course, y'all fat ass motherfuckers. So this man is straight up staring down all of the tailed beast. And we like, ain't no way this boy about to run the hands with the tailed beast. And I mean, he did. So he fighting him, but he getting kind of juggled right now. Like, Jesus Christ. So he ends up losing one of his arms, but then White Zetsu comes in with the care package. But then he just straight up takes his arm and he also had another gift for him, a whole nother Renegon. So this man just straight up opened his eye and it just blasted every single one of them. Just smacking the shit out of their asses. So this man put some chains on him, acting like he had pet smarted the nigga like, all right, time to check out. Oh my God, this is 
poodle, bro. He is straight dragging they asses. It's a type that even make Peter mad. So then he absorbs the Tentails and it also basically end up killing Naruto in the process as well. So in all honesty, we can give him the title of protagonist killer. Slayer. So while he's standing up talking to White Zetsu, Toby Rama comes behind <laughs> his back and tries to sneak him. But that did not go so well at all. <laughs> Yo, look at him throwing shit at him. Man, like I've been waiting for this day for so damn long to absolutely take a shit on your racist ass. So then Sasuke comes from the top trying to sneak him, but he gets frozen midair. Then Mater just looks at him, just stabs him. Bro is basically fed up with people trying to sneak him at this point. And Sasuke's really trying to cling to life right now. He's like, I can't die, not yet. And Mater really looking at this nigga like, shut your ass up. So then he just throws his sword and walks away right in front of him. So then Madara summons the Ten Tails. And this is where it got out of proportion. Cause six past Madara, was on straight timing. I mean, the nigga's basically a god at this point. So then he flies over to Obito so he can snag his eye. So then Obito asks Madara, what am I to you? And he like, you dumbass simp. Nigga, you are a pawn. I've been using your dumbass ever since you got crushed by the African rock. Now bring your ass over here and bring me that Rene gun. So then Minato tries to sneak him, but <laughs> has anybody learned not to sneak this nigga yet? It's ironic. So then he cuts off his arm and kicks him in the guard, and his arm with his Rasengan in it hits Itachi in the gut. So as Obito gets close, he ends up stabbing him, but Madara is just looking at him like, really, nigga? So as Obito retreats, Guy pulls up, and man, oh man, I ain't even gonna lie. This nigga Madara got his shit ran. Boy whipped out the eighth gate and just started blasting. Just straight up rumbling the hell out of his ass. Welcome. Nigga bit his spine into a crescent moon. And Madara is loving this shit. This is like, can you still dance? Cause I with you, my nigga. You pushing P. So guy charges up for his last attack and blitz. Punk him. ass. Yeah. Damn. Kicked the living shit out of his ass but after that guy guys just burnt out niggas as crispy as a burnt chicken nugget so then you see moderate with half his body and this <laughs> nigga starts laughing like damn nigga i almost fucking died hey i what you have you know my nigga this man literally survived a kick from hell that kicked half of his body off so right before he's about to kill guy naruto shows up with his new jesus powers and straight up resurrected this man from death so then naruto and sasuke start to fight madara and while they're fighting he realizes oh sh i forgot nigga i only got one eye right now so he just dips and they like hey where the f you go and this man flies over to kakashi and just yanks his eye out nigga said give me that shit oh but nah this man wasn't done hitting licks and stealing eyes so while sakura's choking to stab obito in the eye madara comes in and yanks his shit too Damn, this nigga stay still in eyes, and this ain't even the first time he's ever done it. Nah, cause the first time he did it, he stole him from his brother. Like, bro, these Uchiha's be playing with eyes like they be playing hot potato or something. So now Madara comes back and he's ready for the smoke again. So Sakura runs out and just gets absolutely shanked, bro. <laughs> like, I know you was trying to be the diversion, but god damn it. So they keep on trying to stop him, but it looks impossible at this point. Now look at him, he can drop multiple supernovas at the same damn time. So the last thing that he does is one of the most evil and most sinister things that has ever happened in anime history. And it actually affected us in the outside world. He activates the infinite Tsukiyomi, or what I like to call it, infinite filler. <laughs> this nigga put everybody in a filler arc. Like, look at all this shit. Man put us in half a year worth of filler because he felt like it. So now his last targets are Team 7. But then one of the most ridiculous moments ends up happening. <laughs> this nigga Black Zetsu really stabbed him in the back, bro. Like, what the hell? How the hell this nigga get outplayed by a damn shadow? Also, this dumbass hoe could get resurrected. <laughs> man, f Kogia, nigga. I love how this man got snuck so many times, but he really died to this bullshit. Bro, this man really got hoed. And ladies and gentlemen, we have witnessed the six paths of Black Air Force energy. Fading an entire army, running the five Kage's pockets, assault, mass murder, hitting licks, and pushing P. This man is truly a menace, and that is why he's one of the forefathers of Black Air Force energy. So yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, make sure y'all go subscribe to the second channel. Don't be a stranger now. Link in the description. And also follow me on IG and Twitter because that is where I will have future polls for future candidates for the roundtable. But anyways, God bless y'all, and I'm out to hope.